Hi gang, Sean here for VFX Jams. In this episode, we're going to continue with our film damage series. Today's tutorial is going to be about creating stains on film. Now, a stain can happen on film uh, in a number of ways. A stain can be created when somebody actually spills something on the, the, the print or the negative. It can also happen if the film strip is transported from a cool place to a warm place and the moisture in the air actually um, uh, creates condensation on the film, which gets trapped as the film is rolled up and can create stains. So let's go ahead and create this effect using nothing more than the built-in plugins and After Effects. So we're going to start with our uh, the piece of footage we've been using, which is our, our footage from Santa Monica. Uh, we're going to drag it into the timeline here to create a comp. You, of course, will bring in whatever footage that you would like to apply the effect to. So now that we have our new composition, we're going to add this effect to a solid. So we're going to right mouse click in the timeline down here, go to New, Solid, and we want it to be the size of the footage. So in this case, my footage is 1920 by 1080, which is uh, high def and a flavor of high def. And the we're going to want to change the color of the solid from mine happens to be at black. Yours might be a different color if you've used it before. So we're going to make it white. Click OK and OK. So there we have a solid in our comp. And we're going to apply. Actually, let's go ahead and label it first. Let's call this stains. How is that for clever? And let's apply our friend turbulent noise. By now, you're probably getting used to this, this uh, plug-in, this effect, turbulent noise. Now, in this one, we're going to do a fractal type that's a little different. We're going to use the dynamic progressive right here. That's the fractal type. So it has almost kind of a, almost kind of a cloudy or uh, almost like a, I don't know what you'd call that, like a cottage cheese thing going on, uh, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Um, the noise type stays at soft linear we are going to crank up the contrast to 925. So it really cranks the contrast and we'll, we're gonna take the brightness down to minus 131. So that creates sort of um, just like these, kind of an interesting shape, um, kind of an organic shape actually, which is good, that's what we're aiming for. So our scale, we'll go into transform, scale should be set to 600 because we're cranking it way up. And the next thing we're gonna wanna do is change our complexity, or actually leave it, it's at six. Now, um, we'll come back to this, uh, but you can actually, let me see if I can go a couple frames ahead and see if we can change. I'll just do this so you can see where there's a little more on screen. There we go. Now, when you if you crank up the complexity, you actually get more of an interesting look here, and this is really a, a dial in to your taste. So. I leave it at six, but you can go up to 12 and you'll see what happens. It creates uh, just more detail in there. So, but I'm gonna leave it at six. So we have this look and I'll just zero this back out. And now the next thing we wanna do is we want to um, add the expression to our random seed again. Now, again, we're going to create this expression. We're gonna hold down the option key if you're on a Mac. Uh, I believe it's Alt possibly on a PC. You'll have to do the math on that. So hold it down, click on the stopwatch and random seed. That creates this uh, little um, prop down here for you to add your own little expression. Ours again will be time asterisk, which is times 24. So that's time times 24. Our footage is 24 frames a second, so is our cop. So this should be 24 too. Again, if your footage is 30 frames a second or 60, that would be your number here instead of 24. So once that's, once you've included that, now the next thing you wanna do is we'll leave blending mode in normal and we're going to add another effect. So you can leave this open if you want or if you wanna clean up your, um, your palette, your effects palette here, just turn the little uh, dial there and that'll hide all the, um, the inputs there. So now the next thing we want to create is we want to add uh, find edges. Now find edges is there we go. Now find edges is do you know? I don't remember. So we're going to go over here and we're going to type it in. Find edges. And if you're not familiar with this tool bar here, this little search key, it'll help you. If you know what you're looking for, you just can't dig through all the plugins and find it. This is a shortcut. So we're just going to drag this over right there. 
and we are going to want to change the blend front blend, blend with original we want to change it to 50. So now we have sort of this water droplet look idea or the stain look, which is exactly what we're looking for. And it's also critical that it is on this neutral gray background. That's important because when we change our blend mode for our layer, which we'll do here shortly, we want this gray to become invisible. All we wanna see is the darker areas and the lighter areas. And that will become apparent here shortly. Okay, that's all we need to do with find edges. So we'll turn that guy and hide that. Now the next thing we want to do is add brightness contrast. Now brightness contrast, which is under color correction, brightness contrast. This is how we're going to actually control the the uh, the um, the brightness or or the if you want to increase the effect or decrease the effect. This is how we're going to do it. We're going to control it through the contrast here. Now I'm just going to leave this at zero for the time being, but we'll come back to it. So once we have all this, now we want to go down to our layer. And we actually want to see what this looks like over the top of our footage. So on the layer, we want to, first of all, we want to open our modes so we can see our blending modes. And we want to change this layer to soft light. So now you see you actually have kind of what looks like a stain right there on your footage. Now, everything that was gray then falls away. If that ever, if that, the background that we had earlier, we'll, we'll look at it again. If this ever gets lighter or darker than 50% gray, you'll actually see it as a change in brightness um, or darkness on your footage. So you have to be careful that way. So let's go back to soft light and I'll show you what I mean. So if you go brighter, see your whole footage will get brighter or darker. Um, if you wanna just control the brightest part and the darkest part and leave the rest of your footage alone, use contrast and you'll have, see it'll actually emphasize that. So you can crank it up or you can lessen it. This incidentally is a cool way to create just sort of a raindrop effect on a lens if you want to. So, so that, and if you go too far, you can actually see it'll, it'll start to affect the actual color of the video too. So, so we'll, so we'll leave that. Let's make that, uh, let's call it like, if, yeah, like 45. So then you can actually see the effect. So now let's RAM preview it to see what we have. We hit zero on our number pad. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's blow it up so we can actually see it better. So now that's really obvious. So if we wanted to dial it back a little bit, we can dial it back a number of ways. Uh, if it's just too bright, we can dial it back using our, there it is, and the sound of our video. So if we want to back off the apparentness of it or the brightness of it, we can just change our contrast back to zero like this. And if you feel like even that's too much, you can always just change the opacity of the layer itself. The shortcut key to do that is T, that's opacity. So you could even take that down to like 50% and it'll, it'll back it off quite a bit. So it's more of a subtle, subtle effect there. So, and again, as is true with the other, the dust uh, tutorials, you can affect the size, the scale of the, um, the stains using the scale tool here. So you can make them smaller or crank them up and make them huge up to you. And again, you can affect the actual uh, number or the amount of it using uh, contrast and brightness in the same way uh, that you did with the dust. So that's it for stains. I hope uh, this was helpful and enjoyable. If it was, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and we'll continue to bring more cool tutorials. And thanks for watching.